Yeah. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Surrender. Let go of the past. Be great. All right. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself, you allow yourself to be fully in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that's happening right here, right now. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 277, NASDAQ up 87, S&P's up 22. Gold, gold contract following through, up $28.40 at 2,609. Now golds, folks, the A to B equals C to D. On the weekly is 2802. So I expect, you know, we're going to get there. That's only a one to one. I mean, the way gold's moving, gold loves moving one to 1.382 to a one to 50. ABC up and or down. Now we're going up right now. Silver. Silver up 80 cents, $30.91. Light sweet crude flat, $68.96 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10 year note up seven ticks, trading 115.13. The 30 year up 10 ticks at 121, 126.21, and King Dollar. King Dollar right now trading down 243 at 101, 123, Euro 110, Yen 140, British Pound 131 to 1 US Dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, bottom line, Take a look at this S&P first. And it looks to me like Monday or Tuesday, you're going after these highs, and more than likely, we're going to break them. Take a look at the S&P right now. now. There's a big contraction of volume today. There's no doubt about that. But that being said, not on the weekly. The weekly has the juice, man. Take a look at the weekly. You're pushing right into the high. The last high up here had, uh, let's see, 285 million, and we've done two... 29 right now and bottom line you're right below it let's see what is that we hit 563 today it's 565 565.87 so that's what you like to see you like to see as you're pushing into a high you want to go higher that you get an expansion of volume and if we close right underneath it and that's what it looks like we're going to do this is when you can blast off folks that's the real bottom line Take a look at the Qs. Now, here's huge divergence. We get the contraction in the Qs today, and it's a huge contraction. You know, 32, 22 million shares, okay, which is problematic, okay? That being said, let's put this on weekly. Let's put it on a weekly, it's good. On a weekly, it's good. That's the bottom line. On a weekly, we've done uh, 183 million, and the high was uh, 162. Now, we're going after, we're not going after the high. We're going after the last swing high, which is uh, we're at 474. That's 485. That's how that shakes out. Now, what's going to be intriguing here, no doubt, is this, is that we still have these high volume lows that are laying out there. You know, on Tuesday, uh, there's no doubt when you had that rejection of lower price, Wednesday, yeah, Wednesday, rejection of lower price, you blasted forward. That's saying, guess what? You're going to go forward first before we back down. Um, we have to keep our eye on these, but the bottom line is that higher prices looks to me like next week because the SPY wants to break its highs. We go take a look at the gold contract. So we have a gold. Gold's been on a run big time. You broke out top side. You broke out with volume. We put this on just a weekly, and you can see how clean it is. I mean, look at this. This is this is a clean run higher. And the way this is set up, when you're looking what I'm drawing out here, the way this is set up, this is set up uh, 2805. That's the A to B equals C to now. That's only a one to one. And as I said, you know earlier, gold loves doing a one to 1.382. That means you go 10 points on the A to B. Gonna go 13.8 at least. Might go 15. You no. Know, so 
I expect that's exactly what we're going to have, and, and this is where it's going. So picture this. The dollar has been holding up in a monster way. It has a huge counter trend bounce. Looked like it wanted to go a lot higher. Now the bottom line is that, you know, we'll see where the fluctuation comes. It did reject lower price today at 100.883. You're at 101. But this is an anemic bounce also. You know, so when we take a look at this bounce, it never even got to a 0.382. Yeah, it couldn't make a 0.382. It's just over a, a 0.23. So I suspect that this dollar is going to back down. And if we put this on a larger basis, what you're going to see, which makes sense, first down, time down to the swing point, you know, a rejected lower price. Um, you know, and we'll see how this shakes out because the, if we get under, you know, the basically the 100 point, then you have 93 gain. So that is a monster move to the downside, folks. Um, silver. Take a look at the silver market. And it, what's intriguing here is that these are like two different markets, man. You know, silver... You know, bottom line is, you know, looking good today. No doubt about that. 76,000 contracts, you're up good. You're blowing away at the swing point. We take this and put this on a weekly. On a weekly, it doesn't look bad. On a weekly, it's like, yeah, you're going to go for the highs again, which is, in this case, 3350. Go to the GDX. We take a look at the GDX. This is on its way to 45. Right now, we're tra trading above 43, I think. Uh, 39. Um, we put this on a weekly. And what you're going to see here on the weekly is that we're going right for this high. The high we're talking about here is that, uh, well, it's 42. Let me bring it back more. There we go. Yeah, 45 is the high. That's. 46, 40, 46, it's, it's going after it. Now, we do have a traction of volume once again. So, a lot of moving pieces here, but gold's on a run in a big way. Stay right there, folks, come right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 246, 275, NASDAQ up 94, S&P's up 22, we'll come right back. <laughs>